Hi, Don. Hi, Steve. Say hi to the people. Hi, peeps. What are you doing here, Don? You didn't bring me another piece of crappy cast iron, did you? I did not. What did you do? From my paint gun. Ah! And so you've come to paint for me today. Come to fulfill my promise that I would paint your machine. One piece at a time. It's going to be like a Johnny Cash song. <laughs> well, this is what I've been doing. Does it meet your approval? You're asking me or the people? You. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. I'm going to do this part too. Now, one of the viewers, we, we, we hit it with the, uh, the needle gun. Here's a picture of us doing that. But now, after that, Don, I've, I've got to ask you a question. I think you've been around lawyers too long. Oh, I know I have. Because now you're parsing things like a lawyer. Like, I'll paint your, paint your machine, Steve, and I didn't know enough to ask the detailed questions of what painting entailed. Whoa, whoa. Let's go back in time. I think my bridge floor is in great condition. We'll just have to put a little white sanding on it. And I said, Chip, you do that, I'll paint it for you. Mm -hmm. It went from, oh, hell, I'm going to take all the paint off now. Well, I wanted to not mar uh, your professional results saying, you by changed, doing a crappy you job. Change the terms of the contract. So now you're living with the repercussions of your changes, so don't point it at me. Point something at you. It'd make me... Anyway. I'm still going to paint it. You're going to paint it, yeah. And I did take most of the paint off. Right? You did do that, and I said thank you. Anyway, we're going to paint this today. Right now it's got about three coats of uh, high-build primer on it, and a product that I had never heard of that one of you viewers told me about icing from usc it's a polyester finishing putty and here's some pictures of me putting it on this sucker look pretty bad But that's what it turned out after getting it all primed up. So we're going to roll this outside and paint it real quick. But first, we got to take the table and measure it. See if I've really made a big mistake. You know, this has turned into a, a five to $6,000 project without any labor in it. Adds up. And that machine, we thought, was in really good shape. Like I said, looks can be deceiving. But it sucks. It looked like a brand new machine, practically. It did. It really did. You find out it's all clapped out. Every bit of it. From the table to the head to the spindle. So, I can fix nut. it. You just need a new nut. Yeah, new that's, what, nut. that's what he said, didn't he? Yeah. Well, I looked underneath and saw how wore the screws were, so I knew that. Yeah. But yeah, everything in the head, it'll be brand, brand new. Be brand new. Be a good investment. I've spent about $4,000 on parts so far. Still cheaper than buying a new one or a rebuilt one. Well, here, you hold the camera, and I'm going to go inside and push this in so we can put it on the surface part. Oh, uh, before we do that... Geez, Steve, what the heck, man? 
That thing sign banner big enough? What sign? That one. Subscribe. Jeez, wait a minute. What the? What the heck? No, there's nothing. Got another one over there. No. Hey, you one back from there where we just came from? You turning into a subscriber whore, aren't you? Me? Yes, You're you. You're saying me? Yes. I told you you was a subscriber whore. Uh, Don, I've got a present for you. <laughs> what am I? There you go. There's you a nice little what, necklace. What am I? Yeah. Am I cowbell and I'm a cow? I want to know where the hell I'm you not, are at every cow. moment. Anyway. I think you're delusional. Yeah. I might have to take that bell away from you, sir. You know better than me a bell. Uh, that's enough. That's, it. that's enough. That's enough. Can I take it off now? Yes, please. Please take it off, Don. Well, Don. Slide this thing on that table. This is another problem about not having a big enough shop. It's a 60 by 40 and I don't have enough space. Uh, Add on. My table is over here. Is it high enough? You need to go higher. Uh, I think we need to go up a little bit. About another two inches. A heavy dude. Well, you got a flat, had a flat tire. Got more? You, I can't see. Go up a little more so we don't risk it. There you go. This is a little bit more. There you go. Right there on the end of the table. Oh. There's a roll of them. Paper towels. Where's your bell? I don't trust you enough. I don't know. Forget it. No. Don, 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 Don. Oh. Like, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. It's like buying a kid a drum set. Hey, you should know better. You know, I played drums for, from sixth grade on. There you go. Bands and marching bands. Between you and me, we have half a band. And my dad gum parents would come in there and give me this little rubber mat that had to put on your drums to keep it quiet. Mm. I hated that thing. Yeah, a drummer used to practice for hours. There's nothing more annoying than just hearing a drummer by itself. Well, I thought about guitar players. <laughs> All right. See, bass players don't practice. They just play. This is a... 42-inch Bridgeport bed, and most standard Bridgeports are 42, so that was one of the attractions of buying this one. It had chromed ways and a 48-inch bed. Well, if you look here, I, I, what I've done is I've stoned this, and that's it. You can see the surface. Actually, I, I ran over with some uh, degrees or two. Now this isn't a defect. They've relieved the center part of this about 20 thousandths. That happens a lot. And there's a void that was in it, or a chip. Now, when you're looking to, to plane something like this, what you start off with is looking for hints, clues as to where the factory had it. Now, one of the clues that is not on this machine is flaking. They flaked the saddle, but not this part, which... You see it done a lot to make it look cool. But those flakes being on the bottom, like if this was the bottom, they hold grit and dirt and stuff. You really want the flaking to be on this surface. 
but we're going to measure and see how bad this is and see if it needs to take a ride. Now one of the things I can see and looking for is I look for where it was originally. Now this surface here was machined at the same time this surface was. It's like a big fly cutter went over it. Yeah, you can see the curves of the yeah. cups. See it went. Yep. Well, I can measure on this because I've got a really good idea that this has never been touched by wear or anything, and I can see where it is in relationship to this. Yeah, you can see the patterns real good here. Yeah. So anyway, what we're going to do, this side is ready to be put down on the surface plate. Actually, you can still see the patterns on most of it. On what? The cut patterns. Oh, you can on this because it never gets anywhere. Right. This doesn't touch. So that's a good reference point. Right. This touches, this does not. Then we'll look up underneath here and see how this surface is. Now the question is how we get it over here. Well, this is a strap and we need to turn it over. And Maybe turn. Don in his old age and me in my old age have gotten where we're not strong enough to do stuff. So we're going to get a little mechanical help. This is a three foot by four foot surface plate that is a double A plate. In fact, it was recertified about two years ago. Don, back it out and drop it down a little bit, please, just a little. All right, we're gonna take a drop. That's good. Now we'll take and wipe this off. I'm confused if you want to measure this side. How are you going to well, we're right? going to we're going to flip it over and we're going to measure the top. Okay. We're going to see if it's how how Both. bad the top is. It is bowed. And, and you kind of start from one surface and go to the next. Right. I'm going to set it back down. We want it to be on its head. Getting in the way of my subliminal advertising. Your four foot strip. about your advertising. Oh, you think? No. Remember back in the old days when you went to the show and they were putting pictures of Cokes and popcorn in there? In between the frames, but... yeah. And I got trouble. Stick it out a little bit, but then swing it off. Yeah. 
that done. Got it all cleaned up. Let's see what we got. Before I do this, I got a question to ask you. Mm -mm. I guess the viewers could answer too. You know, from time to time I get asked to do things or check out products or hell, somebody even wants to send you some boots to try out. Yeah. Yeah. Must have saw me in my crack for Yeah, they're yeah, they're they're worried about you. So what's the question? The question is, I've been approached by a company that wants to sponsor six videos where I tell you about a product. What's the product? Uh, Skillshare. Oh, Skillshare is pretty legit. When I looked at it, and it looks like a kind of a neat thing. I've, I've heard about it many times before. It's kind of like a, being in a guild, you know, where you can learn from other learn people. Learn from people that already know how to do things. So if I got you enrolled in a guild, no, no way, huh? Well, it's kind of like what I do here anyway. Yeah. Trying to make people. It's education. 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 Uh, I would think Skillshare is pretty okay. I mean, they're just trying to help other people learn how to do things. Cool. We're going to flip it over now. So you wouldn't be opposed to watching a little bit of me blabbing on about a product. Of course, I blab on about everything else anyway, so right. what's the difference? What's the difference? Don't mm -hmm. So you're voting for it? Well, I'm thinking that the, the principle of Skillshare is, is okay. Okay. It's not like somebody just trying to sell products, you know? Not like and somebody they, trying to give you boots, huh? That ain't gonna work. And do the other one. We'll just do one. Yeah. Do this one here. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, it's a website that helps, can help some people too, so. All right. The purpose of it is, uh, is, a, good right. is a good purpose. Okay. At least that would be my view. It's better than a scammer, huh? Yeah. I am so sick of scam calls. I don't even answer my phone anymore unless I know that it's a known call. to the side, please. There you go. to uh, put three on here. Need to scoot it over.
them about four inches or five inches in. They're right there. Where'd that one come from? Mm -hmm. I guess the thing to do is they could put it in the comments. Mm -hmm. After they like, scribe, and what's that other thing? Share. And you know, the only reason I'm even bringing the like, share, and all that stuff up is my wife. My wife has been on my case saying that I spend so much time doing video stuff and it doesn't pay me but $200 a month. Mm -hmm. So it's hard to justify doing that in her eyes. Me, I do it for years for nothing. But we have to make the wife happy, I think. Make your wife happy life. This is probably the most, I call it polished surface I've seen on the bottom of one of these. I mean, it's slick as all get out. It's like that chrome rub it against it just burnished it. I like that one. Seven. Not ten down. About eight. Right in the corner, yeah. Crap. This machine just got deeper and deeper, Don. Did it? I, I can't live with that much deviation in that bed. Oh, I could if I wanted to make parts like Pakistani truck channel. Take a ride on the planet. It's going for a ride. While Don is goofing off over there, I think I'll show you some of the things that we're going to have to change out in this machine. Got expensive quickly. You know, we we looked at that machine and thought this is great. And it and it's okay for me because I can do all the other things it needs, but uh, I have to pay for the bearings and all that. 
So this is just some of the things. I got all new stickers for it. Now one thing that I didn't plan on doing was this little part right here. The uh, x-axis table feed was weird. In fact, I'll show you over here. That was the, the end plate that goes on to the end of the table. See how long that is? Well, it wouldn't have been a problem except I needed to buy a new screw for it. And when this one got here, it's about eight inches shorter. So uh, I called up H&W and talked to them and they said, well, you've probably got one of the old gear drive that somebody's converted and you've got the right shaft you just don't have the right end plate so i looked on their site and that was about 160 dollars and the kind lady said wait a minute let me look and see if i have a used one so she sent me that one for 30 bucks thank you but anyway we have all new bearings for the table got some new scales here so you can read them these are the new oilers for the Bajure oilers that go into it. <coughs> All the bearings, way wipers, new tags, new flag, new nut for the uh, Y axis, new gears for the knee come up and down, new spindle top. This is part of the high low Back here. setting. It's got these dogs on here on the end. They always wear out. So I bought a new set of those. New belts. These are bushings for the variable speed pulleys. You glue those in and those two little silver uh, pins inside are the correct size. And you put that in so you don't have to bore the inside of the bushings. New spindle rebuild kit. It comes with the the different screws you need and the top bearing and then the matched precision bearings for the lower. This is a grease for the back gear. Then all the others that go into the, the top of the head for the back gear. Every bearing in this thing has been replaced. Got the little screw you lost in the knee? Yes, I do. I've. You can buy anything for that machine. That's $11.50. <laughs> These are the new X and uh, Y nuts. All the stuff you need to put that in. That really isn't that expensive, if that's all you need. If that's all you need, but you could tell by looking at the screw, it was worn in the middle pretty badly. Now this little part, Don and I worked on. This is a hundred, this goes on the head for knotting. And so, no, not knotting, the, the tilting it left and right and when we started it only had one of these holes but it's kind of worn on this end so what I did was I flipped it 180 degrees for a new hole for the, the, the alignment pin and we're going to use this part of the gear which is not hurt at all that was $145 one little hole saved that Oh, I guess I could show you this. This is what we're working on. Good. No, not that. I've created a friggin' monster. This is a piece of bronze that we're going to make a new nut for Don Shaper with. I bought it round because it's the cheapest way to buy it. Now, This is the old nut. It's just tore up inside so badly. Don was heartbroken. This is kind of a neat thing. This is how it gets oil into it. This bolts up and it has oil dripping from above to get into this little chamber and then on into the, the threads. Felt, little felt piece that goes yeah. in, into this one of these holes too. Yeah, just it grips it in. So we've got to recreate that. 
recreating the whole nut. And so, uh, let's see here. I've drawn the new nut. And I'm in the process of making it to where it'll fit into my Bridgeport CNC. Takes me a long time. I'm not the world's best programmer by far. I've made some changes to the nut. As you can see, this nut is rounded on top and these two sides are tapered. Well, I made it to where this side, this side, this side, and this side are all flat where I can put it into a four jaw chuck on the lathe and we can thread that and hold on to it very well. It really doesn't matter. This is all hidden. You'll never even see it, but I think that'll help a lot. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. And it comes out of that round work piece that we've got there. Now, since I'm not the best in the world, I'm going to use a piece of this machinist wax. And I'm sorry I screwed it up in the last video. Machinist wax is a pretty hard machinable product. Uh, you use it to proving out uh, parts on your machine so that you don't mess up a $145 piece of brass. This stuff, you can machine it. We machined these little shoulders in to fit into the vise. And it will come out looking, hopefully, like the part we programmed. And then we can all put it back together, melt it, and reuse it again. Good stuff. Yeah. Anything else, Don? Yes, Don. There's one thing. There's one thing. Like, subscribe. I'm glad to see you're getting into the spirit of this thing. Hmm. Let me get my little roll-around stool. Now this is the column of this real cheap, easy, fast, fast machine to fix. It's turned into a lot of work. I need to measure these ways to make sure they're okay. Otherwise, we're going to have to put this on the planer and cut these again. I don't think I'm going to have to do that. And basically, what I'm doing is a poor man's kingway. These are two, three, six blocks that I have measured, and they are exactly the same. And I use them as a, a way to bridge across this upper part so I can put my level on there. Here's what the ways look like. Now it's on the table. You look for things. You look for clues. And as you can see, this is the top part where that knee hardly ever, ever, ever ran. So I know this is about the way it came out from the factory. I also know that these marks are about two tenths on average. So I'm a little deeper, but mainly around two tenths. And so by looking down this way, I can kind of judge how much wear there is. As you can see, there's a little bit more wear here. Hope you can see it. Maybe if shine it this way. You can see there's wear. A little wear in here, but you can still make out the marks. You get into this little spot, and there's a few visible up in here. And as you go down, you get a few more visible, a few more visible. Now, 
I think that can reliably show you how much wear there is on this rail. Because of those marks, I can say that even though they're almost gone here, they're right there, there's much. This isn't that bad. It's less than two tenths of a thousand wear in this area. And the same can be said for this side over here. As you follow it down, you get right in there, but you can still see the marks. Well, less than two tenths of a thousandth of an inch. I'm not going to take the chance of putting this on the planer and messing it up. It's just not that much wear. Yes, Alexa, do you have something to say? She said 200 inches. 200 inches. Mm -hmm. I don't know. don't know what to say to that. I don't either. Alexa, would you like to subscribe? Amazon Music Unlimited lets you play over 90 million songs on this Echo. It's free for 30 days and then you'll be automatically charged $4.99 a month. Cancel anytime. Terms in the Alexa app. Should I start your free trial? Oh no. Canceling. Careful what you ask for. Yeah. Poor Alexa. She's always trying to sell me something though. Well, like I said, I'm going to leave this one alone. We're going to have to put the table up on the planer and uh, we'll have to do the saddle too and maybe the top of the me but we'll check that out next time Don's wore me out today oh yeah I worked you so hard watching me work is hard I know. watching you work is really hard it's hard to be you no it's not it's hard to be it's easy to be you but it's hard to be around you yeah that's it it's easy to be me but it's hard to be around me it certainly is Terribly hard to do. Don, cut it out. It's just about the right size to put in a body orifice. <laughs> You'll be sorry. I'm the one that has it, though. <laughs> yeah. I gotta go, guys. Thanks for watching.